I've always wanted to understand things. And for me, understanding things means I have to get them simple enough I can get my head around them. It's hard to imagine Carver Mead having a simple idea. After all, he is the man who co-wrote the book on very large-scale integrated circuits. He shares credit for more than 50 U.S. patents. His software made possible customized chip design, resulting in new products that rely on microcircuitry, from laptops to CD players to remote controls. And yet, Mead thrives on the simplicity he finds in the woods outside his beloved Northern California home. I find it makes a tremendous difference to be able to get up in the morning in the redwood trees and think creatively before anything from the larger world is impinged on me. Carver Mead's creative endeavors began as a young boy in Big Creek, California. It was there that his father introduced him to the world of electricity. Carver would visit the local power plants and was soon building his own radios. The biggest thing that happened science-wise was uh, my sixth grade school teacher gave me a trigonometry book. And that was just amazing. I, uh, I got into that and built myself a little transit so I could measure how high trees were and things like that. That was great. Carver soon got a job at a local radio station where a co-worker told him about Caltech. It was there that Meade received his BS, MS, and PhD and where he has taught engineering and applied science for 40 years. I always tell the students that it's easy to have a complicated idea, but it's very, very hard to have a simple idea. Often, that means thinking about them in new ways that aren't just the way everybody else is thinking about them. Sometimes that pays off and sometimes it doesn't. I've done far more things that didn't work out than I have things that did work out. A few things have worked out for me, though, like Intel one of a dozen companies whose startup he contributed to. Nearly every semiconductor company in existence uses Meade's circuit design concept, known as structured custom design, that allows chip makers to specialize their designs to target specific chip functions. It's that technology that makes possible the specialized chips found in everything from arcade games to cellular phones. There are more people designing silicon chips today by far than there have ever been before and they're finding their way into all kinds of innovative products. It is very, very satisfying to see that. For the past decade, Mead has been attempting to construct computer models that mimic the processing methods of the human brain. Exploration and innovation continue to drive Mead, a true visionary who believes in the power of imagination. For me, the innovation process starts with feeling like an itch I can't scratch. And people around me notice that I'm sort of irritable and I'm apt to, to be absent-minded and go off for a long time and not talk to anyone. And, and then gradually the light begins to dawn. 